Hey, what's up guys? So today I wanted to make a quick video, not necessarily about Linux, but about Windows 10 Home Edition. And uh, it probably is going to work with the Windows 10 Pro as well. But I was looking at my task manager while playing Elder Scrolls Online and I saw that Cortana was using a huge amount of my memory. And something is still doing it, but it's probably on my Google extensions. Anyways, Cortana was about at uh, 100 to 120, sometimes at 80 megabytes, somewhere up here. So I ended up, um, I had it turned off at some point and it must have turned itself back on during a Windows update. So I, I forgot how to do it and I ended up Googling how to shut off Cortana and I looked at all these articles and e pretty much every single one of these articles tells you how to disable Cortana but it's not really disabling Cortana. So I'm gonna actually to show you really quick on how to really disable it from using so much memory on your computer. So most articles that you see will talk about uh, going into the registry editor and going into the registry editor if you don't know what you're doing you can seriously fuck up your system so before you go into the registry editor please back up your system so you don't do uh, irreparable damage on your system. Anyway so even forget about this most articles talked about um, you know, going into your keys, uh, clicking on Windows, creating another key, etc., um, and disabling Cortana by setting it to zero. Just forget about that. The easiest way to do that is by going to your task manager while you have Cortana still running, right clicking on Cortana and clicking on open file location. Um, that should send you right here. Uh, it's probably going to be see Windows system apps and it's gonna bring you to this one right here the Microsoft.Windows.Cortana underscore etc etc the D is something that I had just changed so how you're gonna have to do that is you will have to go to your task manager um, if you find an easier way please let me know but the easiest way that I found is you pretty much have both of these open um, you click in here to change the name you just for example add a letter D to the end of it and then it's gonna ask you to give you permission to do that and once you do that it's gonna tell you that a program from this file location is in use somewhere else in your computer and that's because you still have Cortana running here so the easiest way is to click on Cortana uh, left click and then hit delete to end the process of Cortana and instantly go change the name of your file just add one letter that's it and what it does is Cortana um, is also run by something called I think search UI.exe and if you rename the folder uh, to whatever you want I mean the best thing is to put just put a D behind it so you can find it later on um, Cortana cannot find that search UI.exe and without Cortana being able to find that, Cortana is not going to run on your system. Um, that's pretty much the trick to shut off Cortana on your system and I hope that helped you. If you have any questions or uh, tips, just let me know in the comments. Um, that's it.